Um, Hello, my name is Shastaganti, and today I'm going to talk to you about sleep and the teenage brain. I hope you enjoy it. So, why would I do something like this? Well, my reasons for this project were fairly simple. I saw people really suffering from a lack of sleep every day. And so I decided that something needed to be done about this. And so that was the main basis for my project, was to help people be more aware about the detriments of not sleeping enough. And according to WebMD, people aged 12 to 18 need about eight to nine hours of sleep. But the other side to this statistic is that they usually do not get this amount. And people usually sleep for a lot less than they actually should be doing this. And I think all of us know that we should be sleeping enough. It's that not all of us really know how important it is to do it, because then we would do it. So that's why I'm here to talk to you. So how was I going to do this? I needed a clever and inspiring way of getting my points across. Granted, my process was neither clever nor inspiring, but um, it was still pretty cool nonetheless, and I decided to conduct an experiment to show the correlation between sleep and performance on tests. Now, according to Wikipedia, lack of sleep inf interferes with the ability of people to perform basic cognitive functions. Again, this is something that most of us all know, so I decided to, that I would practically show this to all of us in a way that you know, would be relatable and understandable to all of you. Not just a statistic done by scientists, but a project done by you know, someone just like you guys. So what was I going to do? Um, it was going to be an experiment in two parts, sleeping and testing. Basically, the way it was going to work was that I recruited about a group of seven people to do a sleep test for me. And basically, um, it ranged from three hours to nine hours, uh, people sleeping anywhere from that range. And um, they would sleep the certain amount of hours required, but the next morning, they'd conduct a test and they would send the results to me. A test, the inspiration is kind of funny. I needed a memory test, and so I decided to pick Mexican state capitals, because we all know American state capitals, and we've been studying them before. So I decided to pick something that none of us had studied previously. So I went with that. Um, and you can see, like, this is my test. I'll have to zoom in a bit, but, you know. Yeah, you can sort of, oh yeah, you can sort of see it there-ish. It's a bit fuzzy. OK. All right, so the data. Um, so here you can see uh, a bit of what my process looked like and a bit of the results. So um, a setback, a major setback, was in test one, uh, the person who uh, slept for eight hours for me, for some reason, performed abysmally on their test. And so that, if you can look at the blue graph, it really, really is completely, you know, um, thrown off. So I counted that one as an outlier, and I took a new trial with a new test. This time, I think it was like currencies of South American countries. And um, I averaged the two, discounting the outlier. And now you can see how, yes, it is sort of a bit of an up and down sort of thing, but you can sort of see a general trend going upward. That you know, people who sleep the least perform the worst, and the best score was someone who slept the most. And so that really goes to show that you know, it really affects you for not sleeping well. Blah. Blah. No, go here. Thank you. So how does this affect you? Um, well, it's not as ambitious as researching extraterrestrial life or changing our diet and agriculture. But it's still something that's really important for us to know. Um, you know, uh, we really take a lot of things for granted. And I think more and more our health is something that we take for granted as well. And we really need to start getting into a mindset about you know, looking after ourselves and thinking about things that aren't so obvious. And um, as I explained here, uh, you know, um, we, it's important to do something about the things that greatly affect one's life, especially the things that we're not aware of, and most definitely the things that we know about we consider unimportant. Thank you.